Hello, this video is about auto painting in stable diffusion using control net. In previous video, we have explained how auto painting is done using image to image, Borman's auto painting, and using in paint as well. Now, here using control net, uh, control net must be installed. What we do is that we have a face image, for example, like here. We just drag it down to this location. We don't have to keep the seed the same seed or anything. It's possible to make, uh, to make the seed random so that we, get, we can get random uh, surroundings, for instance. Once we do this, we enable control net, then we choose in paint. So instead of all, we choose in paint. Then from in paint, there are two options to apply in paint only or plus lambda. They both are good and they basically uh, achieve the same results in general. So it's difficult to notice the difference. Sometimes uh, plus lambda will reduce the artifacts, but that's not always true. It's possible to use balanced or control net is more important. Just resized, we have to make it resize and fill because we want to expand the image. Now, the first thing we do is that we want to expand the image vertically. It's possible to uh, do something like this immediately, but uh, it doesn't always work. Okay, So it's best to start step by step. Expand vertically first. Create generate. Okay, if, uh, if this body is suitable for us, for example, we keep it. What we do then is drag it here once again. Now we can expand horizontally, for instance, like this. We increase the width, then generate. Sometimes we have to do multiple generations to get the image that we want. We don't always get it from the first time. Like this here, for example, we got walls. So we have to repeat uh, the generation till we get something uh, as we want it, for instance. We could uh, create multiple batches, such as four batches or 10 uh, batch count or something till we get an image that we want. It depends on your computer. OK, this image looks good, looks acceptable. We bring it back here once again. Sometimes we can play with, with a prompt here, for example, flowers field, in order to avoid any difficulties for the generation or the expansion of the image. Now we can further expand the image, for instance. Once again, we, gen we generate. We don't always get the results from the first attempt. Sometimes we could reduce the prompts to make it simpler, for instance. OK, this looks acceptable. However, we can see that there are some lines here, for example. It's possible to remove these lines using image to image. However, image to image will slightly change the image, and that's not what we want. So it's best to remove these lines using in paint. So this is how the picture looks. So this is how the picture looks after we fix it in in paint. Basically, the, this is the principle. We use control net using in paint method, expand vertically, then horizontally. Then if there are something that we don't want, we fix it using in paint in the end. Have a good